Good morning, my name's Keith Horton, commercial truck manager here at Riverside Ford. Gonna to talk to you today about the difference between the, the pigtail plugs on the back of a Ford F-150. What we have on this side here is your standard four pin plug. That standard four pin plug is, is used for boat trailers, utility trailers, smaller trailers such as that. On this side, you have a seven pin plug, which is normally used with vehicles that have electric brakes uh, and, and other accessories on it. Now, let me ask you a question, Keith. All right, with the electric brakes, you bring up an interesting point. Most trailers do not have their own brake. How, how would a customer go about, I guess, uh, you buy this Ford truck, uh, Ford's on top of, of uh, you know, towing, etc. but the trailer companies, do they come with electric brakes part or are they necessary? How does that work? What kind of towing weight can you carry before you put electric brakes? How does that work? Well, 99 times out of 100, a vehicle or a trailer is going to come with its own electric brake system. The good news about that is, is the trailer companies do a really good job knowing what that trailer can haul and tow and the actual weight of the trailer as to whether it needs electric brakes or not. So nine times out of 10, that trailer is gonna have it if it's necessary for that, that size trailer. Now let's say in the event a customer were to buy a pre-owned trailer or a little bit older truck, I mean, what's to stop an accident? So what, what would you say, I mean, do you have any idea what that weight would be? Or, I mean, approximately about what somebody should look to put electric brakes on the trailer park? Usually the braking point's about 5,800 pounds. Okay, now what about the trailer sway? Uh, what exactly is that in the F-150? Well, how does that affect the trailer and the towing, et cetera? Well, it, it actually uses the, the onboard system on the F-150 to stop trailer sway in the event that you, you get in a situation where you have to make an evasive move. It controls the braking of the truck so it stops trailer sway. Now, I mean, once again, explain that in, uh, like to us dummies. How, how, what do you, how, explain, okay, you had to swerve to miss a deer. All right, you swerve to miss a deer. Well, naturally, when you swerve the truck, the trailer is going to sway. Now just remember that of course the truck's sitting on four wheels that are spaced way apart so the truck can control itself in a sway position. However, a trailer cannot. The, the, the wheelbase between the two wheels is much shorter so that, that, tra that trailer is going to sway. Well the truck will overcompensate for the trailer. Because it's, it's locked to the truck, so the, the trucks. Truck to the truck there you go. Okay. Stop it from swaying. Okay. Uh, once again, guys, uh, this is Spencer Hood at Riverside Ford, and uh, as Keith mentioned, Keith, how long have you been here? Twenty years. Twenty years. Uh, if I am unavailable or any of the other sales professionals here at Riverside Ford unavailable, Keith, Spencer Hood, the rest of us, we welcome you to call us at four seven eight four six four two nine zero zero. Thank you, Keith. Thank you.